this guy spends fifty thousand dollars without even realizing it on twitch subs like 500 bucks each time now if you guys do that kind of thing here with me first off that's fucking dope no 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 don't ever do that shit <laughs> especially here you know if you want to just support the channel that's one thing but don't ever like ruin your life for somebody on the internet, that kind of deal. It's, I mean, I would always say take care of yourself before you take care of something you like. But yeah, let's talk about this. Brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. I am uh, in a bit of trouble, actually. Is this okay. too high? Is this too loud? Um, so I, uh, what, I guess I, I don't want to even start. So I guess in the last year, um, I've been building up some debt, um, kind of hiding it from my family. Mm. And it all recently um, came out uh, and pretty much is tearing apart my family at this point. So hey, How much debt, man? Just, uh, about $50,000. Are you a uh, you... credit card? <laughs> what are you buying? Um, so that's that's the the. You hear you hear that that sigh, right? Like he's already like not proud of himself. He knows it's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, you would think it's porn, right? You you would think it's like. I mean, honestly, it's. Well, I already like broke it to you guys, right? Because it's it's Twitch gifting, but. It's probably a, a female streamer that he's like, you know, simping for it. But the worst part is uh, not really buying anything. It's, uh, it's actually uh, streaming. Um, so I, uh, I used to play video games a lot. I'm, I'm actually in the military. So, uh, the FIFA. so I used to, you know, play the video military. games as a way to kind of cope. And uh, basically uh, I got into streaming and watching other uh, – streamers play video gaming and uh, uh, kind of help pass the time and especially when I'm at work um, and I just I kind of got into the whole gifting subscriptions mm. um, couldn't really control it I, I can man so you see I'm kind of like watching their expressions and these guys are like they're like normies, right? I don't think that they're really going to understand. Especially for... Especially like how it feels to be like thanked and really appreciated and and all of that, right? Like maybe if you're if you're somebody that doesn't get that uh really at home or in your IRL. And yeah, he is ashamed. He's ashamed because and it's probably not because he did it. It's because it's probably because he can't do it anymore. <laughs> and I can say I've never been addicted to anything ever in my life. Uh, but no, you this can't. Has got to be the closest thing. Yeah, you can't. Well, you're right. I can't say that. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. The definition um, of addiction is um, a pattern of behavior that continues after. Yeah, he probably stopped because he's a filthy poor, right? But he said he was a military guy. I mean, honestly, these, uh, God, who's, has anyone served in chat? Anyone? Don't you guys usually like fuck your lives up by getting like a challenger or, uh, what do they get? What do they fucking get, bro? They, they, they marry a stripper where they're posted and they give that stripper TRICARE and it's either like a Challenger or or a or a Corvette. What's the other one? A Charger. A Charger, like at sixty percent APR. <laughs> Some shit. You know what I mean? Some crazy fucking credit. Either way, the stripper wins. Absolutely. You were in the military. Dave? You haven't done that?
You were in the hell military? You were in the Ooga Booga? The person knows that it is hurting me, and I continue. Oh, it's two years mandatory where you're at. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, see, they, they tell you, what kind of benefits do you get in an Ooga Booga like that? Are you willing to say where you're at? Just so we have a frame of reference for chat anyway. Yeah, you probably had to, you probably get dick, right? If they just tell you, hey, fuck you, you're you got two years, you're supposed to do it. Good game. And then a country like Israel, yeah, you get I mean you 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 do get stuff. You gotta do it for the country, yeah. You gotta do it so they don't put you in jail. That's probably the benefit that you get, right? They tell you, all right. And they probably hit you when you're 18 or something. Yeah, that's fucked up. I mean, here, here they, they're like, oh, we'll pay for your school. We'll pay for your college. We give you free health care for life. Oh, that's that Tricure. Tricure is actually really good. Uh, but but that's what I was memeing about. Like, bro, these guys usually they usually fucking just uh, they find a stripper or some hooker and, you know, they want to change them. They want to, you know, I want to, I can fix her, right? I can fix her and I'm going to be the one that changes her. And with, they, they get like this bonus of like 20 K, uh, to, to join over a period of time. And then they'll, they'll either buy a Camaro, a Ca bro. The Camaro is what it is. That's the meme. They'll get a Camaro or the, and I know because I, I was with guys like that, not with them. That's not, that, that's gay. No, I'm talking about, I, 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 I served with them. It's weird to say served because I didn't think of it as serving. I, I really actually just enjoyed it. Uh, in, in my time with the police. Right. So there was guys that were former military that were police and bro, they had the fucking Camaro. I had a challenger, okay? I could afford it though. I had I had my shit together. I had a challenger and, and it it didn't I didn't like do it from a bonus or whatever that I had. Um <laughs> uh, and I didn't give it to some chick either. Tracker sucked. Your mom married a dude in the military once. It's not supposed to suck. I guess maybe when you compare it to other things, it, it's bad. But if you're just like giving it for free, maybe it's. Oh, yeah, sometimes it's income based. Yeah, so if it maybe your mom had better insurance. And and the TRICARE was like not. Not really for her. And then you see that and you're like, oh, yeah, it sucks. Or maybe, I don't know, I guess maybe it's just a matter of perspective and where you are in life. But for the most part, TRICARE was real, like, real good for people. The other thing, what, what you might say about TRICARE is that if you need help and the, you know, it's government care. It's always going to suck. At a, in a, at a certain point, but uh, it, it's what you got, and it's just government. Yeah, I mean, I guess it does suck if you look at it that way, because they they won't take care of you really like for your actual needs. Mm -hmm. You do it anyway. Can I tell you, Alex? I I and this is me just being straight up with you. I I don't know if I fully believe you. He doesn't believe him. What else were you spending? $50,000. I... You see what I mean? These guys are normies. They don't get it. They don't get the online culture. They probably didn't grow up being as attached to the internet as like maybe most of us are. Um, I've been on and off the internet like heavily. Like right now, I'm obviously I'm heavy on the internet because this is like you know, my Omega lol job. But... um. They, they like he doesn't believe them, and maybe maybe in an extent he's not telling the truth because he doesn't want 
He doesn't want to say, oh, well, it was like an OnlyFans. Twitch subscription, right? So you know how there is these OnlyFans models that are on Twitch and they are shady about what they are actually doing on Twitch? They'll get, they'll get kids, they'll get young men, they'll get, uh, you know, naive older men to go through that. And it's like, oh, yay, you know, you know what I mean? I, I think this is more, more than likely what it was. I don't think, well, let's see if he actually says that it, <laughs> that it was a chick. Only see that in, in extreme, like, you suddenly have uh, somebody else that you're, you're courting or you have you're struggling with drugs you're struggling with gambling it, it honestly i know it sounds crazy but that literally is it it was uh it sounds you're crazy watching twitch was, and you're just gifting thousands yeah. of dollars away to people yes uh i i look at her face she's like nah come on quit lying bro <laughs> i got so into the hype um the you know you drop that Five hundred dollar, you know, one hundred subs. Everybody goes crazy, and you know they they hype you up, and and I got so into it. Um, oh, if it was a VTuber, I, I, I don't know. that's it even worse. Happening. I just kept doing it, and I wasn't keeping track. I wasn't paying attention. You know, as soon it's probably somebody's grandpa, right, with a voice changer, and they've you know they've really like understood how to ooh woo, and uh, you know make their voice sound like a chick's. The shape of the eggplant. How many of you guys have oo-wooed all over my eggplant? I mean, like zero of you. And I'm kind of proud of that, to be honest. You guys remember what I, why I originally picked the eggplant, right? It's because I didn't, I didn't want to break up marriages. There you go. As soon as uh, one credit card max go straight to another one over what course of time how how how, how it, long did it, it take was, you to acquire this debt it was over a year in a year bro i'm having a hard time with it same i'm having a hard yeah. time with it like so I mean, are, are, are you married i i am i'm married uh, i have kids and uh and that was that was the hardest part was uh once i realized how bad it was and i i i dude you you would know man things. you alex you would know like maybe in a year, 50K in Twitch subs. You know what sucks about that, guys? He probably, on some level, wanted to help that person. But 50K into Twitch is not 50K to the person, guys. You know what I mean? Like, half of it, at least, if it's, if it's Twitch subs, if it's at least tier ones, it's, uh, it's 50%. Or maybe it's a maybe it was a Twitch partner and they have the sixty forty, still. But fifty k to to that person is not fifty k, to that person. So that's that's what that's what actually kind of sucks about that. Just from that perspective, anyway. I mean, fifty k you're losing fifty k. A hundred percent, but like. You got to be a little smarter about that, right? It, and if you're trying to like simp on somebody, shouldn't you do it in a little, I don't know, man, you should do it in a better way than just going, hey, I'm going to allow your viewers to not watch you with ads. Maybe for sitting there trying to explain this to your wife or something, she'll buy this, but you would, you, you had to actually go open new credit cards. I, I did. So you um, didn't just well, open uh, your eyes and there was $50,000 when. Well, no. So, so the credit cards were old ones that we had zero balance on. Um, that we had used from uh, zero balance years prior when uh, during COVID we were using uh, uh, my wife wasn't able to work so it was just my income that was supporting us and and you know mortgage rates in Colorado are not maybe you should for his wife you know what's funny about that I mean maybe he just doesn't like his wife maybe he's like not into her like that maybe she doesn't deserve it maybe or maybe she does and. Or maybe they're having issues. I don't know. Let's see. I haven't been for a long time, and and we just basically were using credit cards to kind of survive. Once Born, we came, out bro, a hooker is a hundred percent cheaper. That, but but that's what these guys don't get. Maybe this guy is ugly as you know, 
as ugly as a Christian child can be. You know what I mean? And uh, he thinks, bro, there's no way. There's no way I'll even like go near a chick. <laughs> a real one, anyway. <laughs> and uh, but then there, but then there's also that whole um, what do you what do you call it? the category? I guess category of of men that enjoy the humiliation. What do they call them? cash daddies or cash cows or something like that cash pigs pay pigs yeah there you go yeah 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 maybe that's what this is and you know this is one of the rare w's of people that realize it i mean this i mean it's 50k but some people go way harder than that right they'll they'll spend their entire amount of whatever they have life savings 50 you know 50k might be kind of small for these kinds of situations for a, for a, a pay pig right oh you think it's like that mm. it, tattoo on the forehead <laughs> yeah <laughs> stupid tattoo on the forehead it, it it could be what 50 bucks not 50k <laughs> out of that uh, and she was able to start working we were able to pay him down um, we even refinanced the house at one point to be able to get some money back to. So to you're making. Let, let me let me ask a little bit of a more tactical question. You've got fifty thousand dollars in credit cards. You've got to make minimum payments. Tactical question. Yes, Is uh, that what I'm, raised I'm, the flag I'm to like her? How barely, did she? Yeah. How did she not notice? Hey, there's hundreds of dollars going out every month in minimum payments. I'm guessing so you guys that, keep the money separate so she couldn't see that. Well, so I actually um, went and opened up a checking account um, on the side, so that way I could have some of my paycheck. Right, but she's still uh, seeing hundreds of your. She's still seeing, hey, hundreds. There's a lot less money coming in than there used to be, and that didn't raise any red flags. There was a big case where some guy murdered his parents for inheritance to give to an e girl. Was that the Chinese guy, like from China? I think it was something, I think I heard something like that. Sally on the side. Then there was some guy that tried to sue his parents for, uh, for money so that he could simp. What's going on with, with young men, bro? What's going on with people? It's always American. <laughs> <laughs> bro i've given people online birthday money i've given people online like money for presents or dinners but like nothing wild right it's just and, and i consider those people actual friends they don't know how to talk to women so they just throw money at them yeah, they think that's the easiest thing. Um, For her? I'm just trying to understand the I, landscape I mean, of your marriage. I, all, I can, all I can say is that um, we, we were never really good with finances when it comes to keeping track. As long as we knew we had money to do things and pay things, uh, we weren't really paying attention as much as like, I never really cared what she was spending money. She never really cared what I was spending money on. And, and it didn't get to that. Like I said, she didn't realize so like five or $800 bad. could be gone and her not even notice. Yeah. Wow. Bro, Jade and I make a lot of money and I will <laughs> tell you right I'm now. I'm like a bird yeah. dog. I know if money's missing. Sheesh. All right. So yeah. let's see. That's, I don't know if that's necessarily a badge to wear, you know? I don't think that that's a good thing either. That's annoying, isn't it? Men, women, bro, if you are that type of person where you're like watching your bank account like a fucking hawk because your your other your significant other might be, you know, clowning, might be doing some lame shit maybe like this, then that's a I don't know, man. That's that's a that's worth a deeper look into your relationship. 
right? Does anybody know anybody like this? Because she's kind of saying, I'm a bird dog. Did she say bird dog? I think it's good to have somebody watching the fun. Yeah, in a healthy way, though, right, Jen? I, I don't mean, I don't mean like just in general. I mean like to the extreme. This is uh, this this lady kind of makes it seem like that's what she's doing, but maybe not. But like those people that are like, "Hey, did you spend ten dollars on uh, a burger today? What the fuck? Why why did you do that? You know, or or oh, you you got a pizza without letting me know." The fuck, you know, that's like just not healthy. Or maybe it's I don't I don't know. In a healthy way, for sure. Yeah. Is 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 spit rage secretly eating spicy food behind my back? God damn it, spit rage. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I'm beaming, but you know. Yeah, I would know. <laughs> right. <laughs> He he'd break that he'd break that fucking it, it's probably maybe I don't know I don't, don't want to like say shit but maybe it's like a health thing maybe you're farting maybe you're farting it up maybe you're maybe you're expanding the walls in a way you should not <laughs> he barfs <laughs> okay oh man so uh, yeah 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 or <laughs> bro maybe he's sipping on spicy food in the background right <laughs> maybe he's act. Maybe he actually really enjoys, um, you know, what the eggplant likes. Paneer masala, as spicy as they can make it. He's not a quiet person. Oh, he's in the bathroom just, ah. <laughs> he's just dropping that shit. <laughs> you can't do spicy stuff at all. Have you ever, like, okay, so back when, like, maybe you realized that you couldn't, have spicy food like because it's that that bad did you actually like spicy food do you think it was good because i think that that would probably be like the worst part ah. oh you do damn you see I, i've thought about that kind of thing guys just think about it man if you were like allergic to something or or uh you couldn't like i like for me the worst thing i have is I, for some reason, I taste thyme, like the seasoning, right? The, the herb, thyme, in any food, and it tastes like dirt to me. But it would be like a living hell, like if I could not eat crab. <laughs> it would be so bad if I couldn't have seafood. But crab, really, like crab is something that I just, I don't know. I, I don't, and I don't even do it a lot anymore, because it's just expensive. But crab is like man that would be like that would be a that would be a bummer you know that'd be bad you're allergic to shellfish but you want to see food but see that's what i'm talking about see you're living my fucking worst fear <laughs> it's like fuck is there any seafood that you can have Or is it just specifically shellfish? But like, but see, that's bad too because you can't, you maybe can't tell if, if it's if like for example, a fish has been handled in the same processing area as a crab or a lobster, right? Mm. Just not fish with a shell. Lobster and crab, bro. Lobster and crab. Lobster and crab. Oh God. Ah, bro, I feel so bad for you, L4. God damn it. Oh, my God. We're supposed to be talking about this regard over here, spending 50K, but I think this is the topic. You make the best, best crab, lobster stuff, mushrooms. That sounds good. I do like mushrooms. Bro, mushrooms just like done right. Mm. Oh, spanakopita. Oh, with the spinach. Yeah. Mm hmm. Spanakopita. I think it's like spanakop, spanakopita, or some, some shit like the pronunciation. Who's Greek anyway? There are no real Greeks out there. 
one day I had too much paneer and it was like, go shed in our toilet. What the fuck? <laughs> I just look up. Did I miss any chat? Oh, maybe I missed something good. Oh, I, I suppose I did. <laughs> too much paneer? <laughs> Here, let me just... <laughs> Maybe we should finish this video. <laughs> oh my god, bro. TikTok always puts the best seafood bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that happens on YouTube too. You got these, bro, you got these good ass looking seafood bowls. I, sorry, I don't want to fuck with you like that. But it, but that, that is a thing. Well, how can we help, man? Yeah. So, I mean, at, at this point, I mean, uh, the basic thing is i i'm just terrible with money obviously and i i have no nah, idea what i'm doing but that's not that's the, not the problem it's not the problem bro bro i i fucking played this for 10 seconds and i agree i 100 percent agree that is not the fucking problem like if you're bad with money what's really the issue there that you're like you have no self-control is it is it cool to like gift subs i mean yeah i mean i'm a little biased when you when i say that because you know you support the eggplant a little bit a little bit, a little, a little bit guys just a little bit but 50k like fuck don't ever do that ever bro there is just some people that are gonna sweet talk you But I mean, really, it comes down to self control and like understanding where you're at, taking a step back and 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 seeing, hey. Well, let's see what the, let's see what they say. Really, like you're living in an altered reality. Like you have to go yeah. get beneath that. Like if if we take you at your word, which I'm telling you right now, I've just been doing this for too long. I'm struggling with it. If I take you at your word, and when MasterCard said, I can't let you have any more money, and then you went and opened up another account to keep paying that bill, and this isn't just, oh my gosh, I was just clicking on something. See, so they're describing really what I was talking about. It's like, you gotta have a little self-control. And if you don't take a step back and you go, fuck, like, did I just open up a, another account to give that money away? You're, if you never catch yourself doing that, if you never, if you don't have a process, if you don't have a process for catching the mistakes that you make in that way, then you end up at 50K. I mean, you end up at 300K, 500, a million. Some people have legit ruined their lives. I mean, but, but in, the, in the scope of things that you could fuck your life up with, being 50K in debt, what do you guys... If you guys could put that on a on a scale, I guess. One to ten. Fifty K is probably I mean, just depending on where you're at, right? I guess that's just I don't know. Probably a six. Five or six, right? Because it's just money. And I say that and I say that being a broke motherfucker, right? Because it's just money. And I mean it's just money because if you have your health, if you have your health, if you have your family, if you have people that care about you, 50K is probably like a four. Because you can recover from that eventually. You can't recover from, I don't know, <laughs> fucking uh, really, really bad past stage four cancer, you know? Or making such bad decisions that you end up just, I don't know, giving yourself gonorrhea or some shit, right? And suddenly I was 50,000 bucks in the hole. You, you knew step by step by step along the way, I'm going to keep going down. And if I take you at your word, something about watching other people play video games and you giving them get $500 at a time brought you more life made you feel more that's, alive than your own that's home just, that's just talking than your that's own just life that you're creating here that's what you have to deal with because that's yeah. that's a case of because like 
the see these guys these hosts have never had that situation right they, they've never watched somebody play a game uh for fun or just to pass time or whatever the reason is right uh to some people some people are in chat as you know social practice some people are just not good in in face-to-face -face interactions and this is this is how you this is a good way to like meet people right um or you know better, better than tripping over your words in front of somebody maybe maybe you're that guy right maybe you're that guy that can't talk to women <laughs> it's not that it's it's funny guys it's it is funny okay it's funny but you can get good at, at doing that <laughs> the only way to do it yeah that's their only way that i mean bro quad quads uh he lives in literal paradise but he's cut off from the mainland right he's he's cut off from 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 the real shit i don't know that's probably a bad example but he's way the fuck over there and maybe i don't know some some people bro that's where i want to go that's where I want to end up. I want to be sitting on a fucking beach somewhere. Staring at the goddamn ocean. Drinking a margarita. Now, if it starts talking back to me, that, that there's a problem, right? <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just, this is just normie talk. Obviously, we get it. These guys aren't going to get it. It's a good thing. I, I guess what I'm trying to say, it's a good thing. It's just not good if you, just like everything else, if you do too much of that, there is a problem. If you're on the extreme side of things, there is a problem. Um, if you're a generous person and you don't know how to stop yourself, there's, that's, you know, that's a problem. If you do too much online, that's a problem. You are living this quiet life of desperation and these little, I, I can't even wrap my head around this. And like, dude, my whole career has been sitting with people who've made some wild choices, and I've never heard this. Not fifty thousand dollars. This is the worst that you got. Come on, there's no way. You have three point two, bro. This highlights channel, three three point two three million subscribers. This, there is no way this is the worst thing that you've ever heard. Maybe he's not saying that, but it kind of sounds like it, right? But there's no way fifty k is like the worst. Everyone saves uh, years sometimes to come here for a week. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it is crazy. It has to be. I think that in general, in general, like the policies of a, of a, of a state sort of dictate how expensive stuff, stuff is going to be. Um, but the fact that you're bro you're you're hawaii you know everybody wants to go there it, it's limited space everyone wants to fucking relax and, and be in warm weather it's just the you know the nature of it but yeah absolutely i've seen five thousand i've seen like ten i've never seen fifty thousand bucks the second thing is is then you're a guy that doesn't tell his wife the truth Twelve dollars. The third Shit, thing yeah. is you're a guy that put his How kids much is milk? financially like nine? at risk. Those are the things we need to deal with. A gallon of milk, probably Alex, twelve bucks. Are you bucks. telling us that you're done? Worse, like, fifteen. You you've called in to talk about the money aspect of this, so that makes me think. Okay, he thinks he thinks he's finished grain. with this behavior. <laughs> what is causing you to think that you're finished with this behavior? Is what I want to know. Otherwise, so, what I tell you is not going to matter at all. I, yeah. Um, so I mean, we've we've started doing. Uh, family counseling, uh, marriage counseling. Um, I've deleted all my accounts. I've, uh, I've, um, marriage counseling. My wife access to every single thing that I have. Okay. Um, Did you so give her the receipts? Can... See, I wouldn't normally agree with that, but in a situation where you're trying to get help, I mean, and it's your wife, I guess, you know? Yeah. But, in another situation, bro, you just got to trust each other until they give you a reason not to. I guess that's that would be the policy, right? That's that's fair. You got to trust each other until they give you a reason not to. But in that situation, yeah, he's just trying to do something. I'm trying to do a little something, right?
Uh, yes, I gave her access to nine dollars bank account so okay. she can look at the history and see everything. Oh, so I got it. It is nine dollars in Hawaii. Damn. Okay. Fuck. I haven't Every checked in a single while. transaction. Okay. All right. Good for you. Um, I, I, I mean, well, we've been married for seventeen years, and I love my my wife more than anything. She's my best friend, and uh, I honestly yeah. have no idea why it, I got into it. I think that's part of the counseling. That I'm Do you guys hear how his voice sort of just was unsure? Because he he knew he had it he had it in his mind what it was. It's a chick, bro. It's a it's a female streamer at minimum. It's a female streamer at minimum. At worst, it's like amaranth. <laughs> at worst, it's amaranth. You know, uh, middle ground is probably some OnlyFans model, but I guess amaranth is has OnlyFans too, right? I think. I think that was like the meme. Because a few, uh, a f I don't know, maybe, what? What was it? Six months, a year ago? I don't know. Something like that. She actually got one out and she made, I don't know, 12 million in the first month. That's fucked up, man. Just think about that. Like, shit. Like, I show my titties and I get the cops called on me. She shows hers and it's like, oh, here you go. Get more rich. Um, that we're going through. I'm Good for you. To understand. Good for you. So um, I'm, I'm proud of you. I just know that I don't want to lose that. Okay, I'm proud of you on that, man. You're gonna have to work through the money side of it, and you're gonna have to follow the baby steps and pay it off. Hang on the line. We'll send you. He didn't really actually help him though. He just kind of shit on him. Did you guys hear any financial advice here? He said, okay, he's going to send him what? A copy of Total Money Makeover and help you on your journey. Create your free every dollar. He's going to send him a course or a book or something? Nuh-uh. What? So basically, he had this guy humiliate himself. Albeit, and kind of sort of anonymously. Maybe it's a fake name, whatever to push a book what is this download your free ramsey network app today. <laughs> start eliminating debt for free with every dollar look to learn more where was the advice why would we agree why would <laughs> i mean this clip well, it's not a clip. This segment, 63K views. I mean, I don't know. Sounds like an OnlyFans addiction. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, I'm not the only one that thinks it. I've seen people doing that on Twitch, donating like a thousand all at once. Figured they're just rich. Never thought it might be an addiction problem. I mean, yeah, people get addicted to the, uh, you know, the hype. Right? And there's nothing wrong with feeling that. It's just, again, if you're on the extreme of, on that, or on the extreme side of that, it's a fucking problem. Some people need entertainment, and this is their entertainment. And I'm happy to provide it, but if it's like ruining your life, bro, no, 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 no. I, I would rather talk to you and get you, get you out of that mindset. Yeah, this is, this is, I mean, more or less, this is what people are agreeing with. That was awesome. Oh, what I said. <laughs> yeah, so like, he didn't, honestly though, real shit, did you guys hear any advice? I didn't fucking hear any advice. I heard, oh, you're an idiot. Oh, I don't believe you. By the way, here's a, we're going to stay on the line. We're going to send you a book. Read this shit, you filth. You fucking casual. <laughs> like, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this show? What is this show supposed to be? Let me see. What does it say in... Yeah. 
did you miss the show? We got your cover. So this is like my, well, I, I had a highlights channel, but I guess that's really just the, the main channel at this point. Watch full episodes. It doesn't actually say what it is. But I would assume that this is a financial help show, right? That's what they were saying. I can't tell you because the, the chick was like, I can't tell you something that you might not go with. I, okay, so if I want to be generous about that, maybe it's the fact that they don't think that he could follow his follow their advice or stick with it. But I mean, if you're if you have people that follow you and they're trying to listen to this and maybe there are people watching that show going, "Bro, I'm kind of like there. I'm kind of like $1000 in. What should I do?" Right? Maybe they're 20k in. <laughs> Maybe somebody's watching and they're 20k in and and they and this is a similar situation. But there wasn't really any solid actionable advice, right? It's all shit that you're told usually. Be smart. I mean, I can't really give I can't really give solid financial advice either cuz that's not what this show is about. But I can tell you that if you're deep in debt like that, you should probably seek somebody that can actually help you that's qualified. There are there are there are financial advisors that are actually out there to help you with that. And I would say go do that. We don't think we'll follow the advice. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I bet you'll find it in this book that I just advertised. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit, bro. And see, these are normies. But the normies can't give you the normie advice? I don't know. What are these other thumbnails? I'm 64 and wife's pregnant. <laughs> First one, bro. The first one I see here. You're not a victim. You did this to yourself. I mean, that is true. That is true. But not in every case. That guy did it to himself, but again, if I want to be generous, There are niches. There are niches to the way people get, right? There are niches to, like, you are you right now based on every single experience you that's ever happened to you. You are a culmination of all of your experiences. Good or bad. Good and bad. Nobody has just good. Nobody has just bad. Our advice is only for non-lying idiots. <laughs> Next caller. Bro, send this fucking idiot a book. Get him the fuck out of my lobby. Can you imagine? Bro, I would have just said true. I would have just said, yeah, hell yeah, brother. K hey, Kona. So when are we all writing the book? The eggplant looks but Nah, man. See, I would really hesitate to give people advice unless I had some sort of experience. But usually... And really on a platform, right? Because there's people that listen to me and they think that I know all of this crazy shit. I mean, I kind of do. But there are categories of crazy shit that I'm qualified to talk about. Not everything. I mean, I'm qualified to laugh at you. So I'm going to laugh at this guy. I'm qualified to laugh at the Ramsey show highlights. 